we all have our favorite shows, favorite characters, our favorite YouTubers. And as an artist, why wouldn't you want to draw them? Well, unless that's what you want to do forever, it's probably not a good idea in the future. What's good? It's Cameron, also known as Javen, and we are back with another YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm just going to be thinking about doing fan art, I guess. I started posting on Instagram around four years ago, and I instantly started doing fan art of my favorite creators. Because, why not? I was just showing appreciation to the people that I watch all the time, but as a small artist without a good following, doing fan art will only bring in followers that like that specific thing. That's not what you want. And if that's not what you plan to do, then you're just cooked. When I first started, I was just drawing whatever I wanted, and I posted it. It was a lot of fan art, and I was definitely I was definitely gaining followers. These new followers weren't people that liked art. They were only people who liked the person or the character that I just drew. Whenever I didn't draw that person or that character, the followers aren't engaging. This leads to a lot of bad stats, like especially with Instagram's horrible algorithm. My art barely gets shown to my followers anyways, but when they aren't interacting, that's just horrible. If I could go back and not do fan art, I wouldn't because a lot of good and cool stuff happened because of it. I just wish I would have waited until I had at least a decent following, a decent community. Because Instagram barely shows my followers anything I post. But the, the lack of interaction, even at that point, is just demotivating. This is just my opinion on the fan art situation because I have 900 followers on Instagram. I can make a poll right now telling them, click yes. And nobody's answering that poll. And it's so easy. I don't know why they're not interactive. So if they're not going to answer that poll, they're definitely not supporting the post. And then everybody that follows me not even getting shown the posts or the stories so it's like it's like a lot of stuff that goes into it i post reels i i i haven't got a good reel on i haven't got a like i only have gotten like two reels that have gotten over 10,000 views plays and that's just one of them was because i did fan art which makes sense the other one was just, I hopped on a train at the right time, I guess. Same thing kind of for TikTok. Most of my most popular videos were fan art. I still do a lot of fan art. But it's like I post something, it flops on TikTok. And I don't, I don't get it. That's what, I'm going to have to make a new video, another video on that. If I post, oh, I'm, yeah, we're going to say that for another video. Uh, leave a comment and tell me about how y'all feel about fan art. I'm, I'm, this video is not really like telling you don't do fan art. If that's what you want to do, do fan art. I'm just telling you my experience with it and my opinion on it. I, fan art is cool. I, I of course, I want to draw the people that I watch and I support. But I, sh I definitely should have waited till I at least had a few followers because I made my account. I, some of the first few stuff. Like, literally my first post was Naruto fan art, which makes sense. And then some posts after that, I do some YouTubers. I did a lot of Dante art. I'm Dante. So, like, that's definitely my most drawn person. But, it's like, it's, why would, he's like my most watched YouTuber. Why wouldn't I draw him? You know? But it's like, if I could draw him, he sees it, he likes it. He, he shares it. If he wants everybody else to see, oh, this person do it, he supports me, I'm going to support them back. That's fire. They they follow me. They ask for a commission, and then, oh, it costs money, never mind. But they follow me. I don't draw Dante for, like, a few months. They, they haven't interacted with nothing. And it's, like, just cooked. And it, it sucks because... I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. 
I might have to make a new account. I just recently hit, well, not recently, but I met like closer to 1400 on TikTok, but it's just so bad. I might make a new account, but I don't like. I just don't want to give up on the first account, but I might have to. Which sucks. So I'm definitely probably gonna make another video on that one. Uh, I'm talking about fan art. The drawings in this video are fan art. It's crazy. Uh, but it's like, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you made it this far, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment your thoughts on doing fan art, especially as a small artist. I love to see y'all's perspective on it. If you made it this far, uh, comment a purple emoji. If you comment at all, please comment. Please, I hope you made it this far. If you made it this far, we're locked in. So go ahead and subscribe. Comment a purple emoji. Comment your thoughts on fan art. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to the next video.